Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be making some cute loungewear inspired by Savannah Alexandra's design for Chi Chi in her Puppet series. This tutorial will be split into two parts, the pants and later on the top. For this tutorial, you will need two yards of your main fabric, one yard of contrasting fabric, here I'm using scrap fabric, matching thread, a safety pin, one half inch elastic, and along with 5 8 inch snaps and one half yard of fusible interfacing, but these two items will be utilized in the top tutorial. I typically make my own pattern pieces, but I'll add a similar pattern down in the description for you guys. Just to reiterate, these pants are meant to fit loosely on the body. My fabric was almost too narrow for these pants, so I would suggest fabric that's wider than 44 inches if you want more of a gather at the waist. Once you have your pattern placed, pin and cut. Repeat for your contrasting fabric. Before sewing, I always serge my pieces. This way, I don't have to worry about raw edges later on. Now that my pieces are serged, I'm going to attach the contrasting fabric to the bottom of the pants leg using 1 half inch seam allowance. I'm going to press the seam as is first, then press toward the main fabric. I've noticed that double pressing like this gives me a very flat and crisp seam. Top stitch 1 4th inch from the seam line. Now that the contrast is neatly attached, take one front piece and one back piece and stitch together to create the side seam. Press flat. Next step is completely optional. I like to fold the seam allowance in half on, on the side seams because I find this makes it easier to add the elastic later on. Once folded, press and top stitch all the way down. Now that we have our two pants legs, it's time to turn them into pants. Lay your legs flat so the front and back are clearly visible. The back will have a steeper curve than the front. Turn one leg inside out and place the regular leg inside of it. This way, the legs are right sides together. Make sure the crotch lines up and pin. Stitch with a 1 half inch seam allowance. Turn inside out, and now you should have what looks like pants. Turn inside out again and press your seam open. I don't fold this seam because I don't want the crotch to feel bulky. 
fold the top of your pants one half inch and press the entire waistline. Then fold another two inches, press and pin. This will be the casing for the elastic. Stitch 1 fourth inch from the bottom, leaving a 1 inch gap to add the elastic. To figure out how much elastic you'll need, Stand straight and bend to the side. This is your natural waistline. Place the elastic around your waist so that it fits snug. Then pull the elastic together an extra inch or two. This tension is what will keep your pants around your waist. Cut the elastic and make sure that it fits a little tighter on your waist. With the gap we created, attach one end of your elastic to the safety pin. Insert the safety pin into the gap and slowly work the elastic through the casing, making sure that it doesn't get twisted. Hold the other end of the elastic so that it doesn't go into the casing. Since folding the side seams, this process is easier because I don't have to fight extra fabric like at the crotch seams. Now that the elastic is fully through, take the ends and pin them together, making sure not to let them go into the casing. Stitch these ends together. I usually sew with a wide zigzag stitch several times. Now you can let your elastic become flush with the casing. Stitch the gap closed, making sure not to sew through any elastic. Hem the bottom of your pants and you're all done. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I'll be sewing the top in the second part of this tutorial later on. Happy lounging!